Hi, it's Nathan J. Roberts, and I love live looping, and I love Loopy Pro. It's one of the best loopers out there, ever. But as a guitar player, it's hard for me to use my hands and touch the screen at the same time. So what do you need? You need a pedal board. This is the pedal board that I use. It's an Airturn BT500 S6. It's got six buttons on it. And I'm gonna show you how to connect this to Loopy Pro, and maybe you can discover some ways that you can use it in your live looping. First and foremost, before Loopy Pro can talk to Airturn, your Airturn pedal has to be set up so that it can talk to Loopy Pro, okay? And I set mine up on what's called MIDI. Airturn has seven different modes that it can use. And we want mode number seven, which is the MIDI mode. And I'll show you how to do that. We're going to turn on the air turn. We turn it on. You're, it's, it's trying to connect. I think it's probably already connected to my iPad already. But I want this to be on mode number seven. This button right here is going to turn on this red light. Now, when this red light flashes, if it flashes one time, it's in mode one. If it flashes two times, it's in mode Two, if it flashes three times, I think you're ahead of me. It's in mode three. So I'm gonna hold this button down while the red light flashes. And what? It, so if it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I want it to go to seven and I'm gonna stop. Whenever, I, whenever I, I let off the button, then the blue light and the red light are going to flash at the same time. And they'll flash seven times cause I wanna to go to mode seven. If you wanna to go to mode three, hold it down. So the red light flashes three times and then you let off the button and the red light and the blue light will flash three times and it'll tell you that it's on mode three. But we're going to mode seven. Here we go. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I let off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now it's in mode seven. Okay. Now this is this Bluetooth is already is already flashing because I have it already connected to my iPad. I, I'm I'm going to give you a very basic overview of this, and then you can just take this and run with it. Okay, uh, I'm going to get rid of everything except for one loop. Let's delete this row right here, and then uh, I'm just going to delete everything here. Just just so that you can. Uh, know what we're doing. I have my guitar that's hooked up. Well, my guitar is hooked up, but it's not hooked up. Let me uh, go to my, unmute it. And it's on mixer and it's on two. There we go. All right. You, you should know how to hook up your gear to through whatever mixer that you're using. All right. Uh, if I press this loop, if I just touch this loop, because nothing is hooked up, if I just touch this loop, it'll start recording. It's going to be a little off because I don't have it set to for audio mode. So I just tap that and go. Okay. And now we're through. And it's, and it's there. I'm going to swipe to clear. And it's clear. What I want to do is I want to start this loop with a foot switch. So we're gonna use the first foot switch here to start and stop that loop. Right now it's not connected. Now forget about binding and unbinding and switch it. Let's keep it simple. Are you ready? Here we go. So your menu up here on the top right, the, uh, the hamburger menu, the three bars, whatever you wanna call it. Let's tap that. Come all the way down to where it says MIDI Learn. MIDI Learn is what we're looking for. Tap MIDI Learn, tap tap whatever you want to MIDI Learn. Right now, the only thing we have on the on screen is uh, is this first loop. So if we tap that first loop right there, if you come all the way down to the bottom, it says Listening for Advance, right here. Listening for Advance, right here, all the way on the bottom. And there's nothing happening. It's still listening for something. I could press any one of these buttons. And it's going to immediately connect to that. Let's just go with the first button. Watch what happens right here. I press the button and boom. And it changes. It's connected using the note 64 on here. But don't, don't worry about that. Just know that this button is now connected to this particular uh, loop. All right. 
If I come out of that, just close everything. Now I can touch this, touch the loop, and it's recording. Okay? But I don't want to be able, I don't want to do that. Let's clear that out. I want to do it by touching this, this uh, foot switch here, which is now set up to do that. Without touching that, got my guitar in. And one more time, and... There you go. But now that's all that it's going to do. It's not going to, if I tap, tap this again, it's not going to start recording. All it's going to do is just play. Okay. Now let's talk about overdub and clear. I'm going to show you the way that I do it. There might be a simpler way, but this is just the way that I do it. What I'm going to do, let's clear this out. And I'm just going to add two buttons. I'm going to add two buttons. All right. Let's go to, to the pencil right here on the bottom and add two buttons right here. One, two, three, two buttons. One, two. Buckle my shoe. Okay. I'm <laughs> sorry. So there's our two buttons right there. Let me, uh, let me add a little, uh, let's add a little color to them so that you can see them a little bit better. Orange looks good and orange looks good okay so there's a button there and a button there these can be as big or small as you want but just for this demonstration i have them this size i want this button right here to be my overdub now i i, I can tap it do whatever i want it's not going to do anything but let's turn this button into an overdub button all right pencil right there let's go to press and let's go down here to where it says record, right there. Press record. And if clip has audio, overdub. But the target needs to be set to specific clip. There's only one clip there, so there it is. And now we're back. So if we tap this, it's gonna overdub. I'm, I'm gonna, let's record right here. And when I tap here, it's going to overdub. Okay. But now I don't want to just reach up and tap, so I'm going to, let's clear this out. I'm going to set this button to be controlled by foot switch number two. How do you do that? Same way as we did the clip. Hamburger menu, MIDI learn. Tap that button. It's waiting. Look right there. Listening for events. Boom. There we go. It's set for this button and this button only. Now we can come out and close. This can also start recording on the clip as well as this one here. Either, you can use either one. Let's just use this guy right here. Two, one, two, three, four. Overdub. You, you can set that up to record an overdub to your heart's content. But to get rid of this, I still have to clear that out. I want to set this button to clear everything. And then I'm gonna set this foot switch to operate that button. So let's go to edit. So we wanna to go to this button here. We want to uh, do a press. You can set it. Uh, and the reason it's press is because we're gonna press the button, clear clip. Which clip are we going to clear? Well, there's only one clip on there, but there it is, done. And so. If we tap this button, we, if we have some sort of audio on this clip, here we go. Okay. We tap this button. It clears that clip. So let's set this button, this foot switch with that button right there. MIDI learn. There's that button and it's listening for events. Press this clip number three. And there it is right there. Okay. So if I tap this, it's going to clear 
whatever loop we have. Here we go. Okay. I can tap here or I can tap my button and that clip is cleared and we're good to go on to whatever else we want to go on to as far as recording. I would like to encourage you to like and subscribe uh, to this channel as it helps us continue to create the type of content that you are seeing now. I hope that you've gotten something out of this video today. Your possibilities are endless, uh, not just with this pedal, but with any foot pedal that you connect uh, using Bluetooth and Loopy Pro. For example, I have one of my buttons set up for all stop. It'll start and stop the clock. Uh, I have another one set up for all clear. It'll clear all of the, the loops that I have set up. And you can see more on that particular template uh, on a link uh, posted above. If you have any questions, any comments, please put them below. I promise you I will uh, respond to your questions and to your comments. And until next time, God bless. Have a great day. Keep on looping in Jesus' name.